Point of View with Vice President and General Manager Bob Cook. It's an absolute travesty that the state of California allowed the Oroville Dam to deteriorate to the point of almost causing a massive flood and loss of life. A substantial portion of our water supply was threatened. 200,000 people had to be evacuated from three counties and a number of communities around Oroville. So how did this catastrophic disaster almost happen? It's simply that the state of California, under Governor Brown, has for years had the wrong priorities. In 2005, state and federal officials decided to ignore warnings that the dam and spillway at Oroville needed upgrading and repair. Also sharing the blame is the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, who said the repair was unnecessary. Clearly, they have not maintained these aging dams, spillways, levees, and aqueducts adequately. In December 2016, our governor sent to the Trump administration a list of infrastructure projects he wanted funded. Of course, the bullet train made the list, but repairing the Oroville Dam was nowhere to be found. At the time, heavy rains had been soaking California for months and were predicted to be record-setting, putting all of our dams and adjacent communities in serious peril. The Brown administration made a very dangerous assumption that an old spillway would handle any potential Oroville dam flooding. They were dead wrong, and effectively testing for defects and continued maintenance was not a priority. Now, as a result of the overflow from the recent heavy rains, a massive hole developed in the spillway adjacent to the dam, putting the entire structure in serious jeopardy. State officials were caught by surprise, which is incredibly disturbing given all of the warnings. They were not prepared to evacuate hundreds of thousands of people that were vulnerable and gravely threatened. Finally, Governor Brown recently proposed spending $387 million for flood control, including Oroville Dam. That money would come from a 2014 water bond, meaning Governor Brown had the money for almost two and a half years and did nothing. Going forward, fixing the dam and our water infrastructure should be the top priority for Governor Brown, not the high-speed rail or the twin tunnel project. Thanks for listening. I'd like to hear your point of view. Go to foxla.com and click on POV or email me directly at pov at fox11.com.